Hi friends, subscribe my channel and give minimum 10,000 likes. Human vision wise reptile vision. How reptiles see the world? Snake vision. The study found snakes to be dichromatic, meaning they can see two primary colors, blue and green. In addition to their color vision, many snakes have developed a sensitivity to UV light, allowing them to see in low light conditions. This adaptation was found in the majority of snakes analyzed in the study. Aside from visible light, some snakes are able to see other wavelength. Pit vipers, pythons and boas can detect infrared radiation being able to see the thermic signature around them. This is extremely useful to detect prey in low light conditions as they can perceive their body heat. Lizard Vision Lizards rely on vision for survival and their eyes are well developed. A review of the evidence shows that most lizards can see color better than humans can. Some will use color to communicate and make decisions and some can even see color in very dim light. Well, lizard retinas contain multicolored oil droplets in their photoreceptors so they can perceive color. The opsin proteins in the cones in the eye are calibrated to detect different wavelengths. In many species, this enables them to see into the higher wavelengths beyond the scope of unneeded human vision into the ultraviolet range. Lizards can focus on near and far by squeezing or stretching their lenses using the ciliary muscles and annular pads. Pupils dilate and contract in response to light. Humans have three types of retinal cone cells for color vision and brain combine the information from these cells and perceive the blend as a certain color. Most lizards, however, have a fourth cone type which respond to ultraviolet rays. These lizards seem a much more colorful rainbow than humans do. This extra color perception is especially important to many lizard species in recognizing others of their species and even food items. Turtle Vision Turtles have well developed sight. Sea turtles can easily adapt their sharp vision from water to land, enabling them to find food for both themselves and their young. Interestingly, sea turtles can see in color. This ability helps them to avoid predators and distinguish what food they are going to eat. The turtle's sight is so well developed, he is able to distinguish pattern and shape differences. Despite being able to see well enough to detect patterns, turtles don't have peripheral vision. Humans can perceive light rays with a wavelength between 400 and 700 nanometers, what we think of as visible light. Turtles, however, can see light waves in the ultraviolet spectrum, meaning that they can see colors that we can't even dream of. Scientific study was published reporting that turtles have a special red gene that may have originated in ancient dinosaurs. This gene allows turtles to not only be able to pick out the color red and various patterns consisting of it, but also see shades of red that we cannot. Most humans can perceive shades of red like scarlet and crimson, but turtles with this special red gene can see shades that are in between crimson and scarlet. In addition to this, some turtles such as the red earth slider can see about the highest 100 nanometers of ultraviolet light. Jekko's vision Humans don't see color very well or even at all in low light. This is because our cone cells function best in relatively bright light. Other cell in our eyes called road cells help us see in dim light. But because road cells only have a single light sensitive pigment, at night we see in shades of grey. Jekos, on other hand, have excellent color vision at night, a useful advantage for a nocturnal hunter. The sensitivity of the Jekko eye has been calculated to be 350 times higher than human cone vision at the color vision threshold. The optics and the large cones of the Jekko are important reason why they can use color vision at low light intensities. Chameleon Vision The chameleon is among the most highly visually oriented lizards, using this sense in prey capture, mating behavior and predator avoidance. Unique features of chameleon vision include a negative lens, a positive cornea and monocular focusing. The development of the chameleon visual system could have evolved to aid in prey capture or in predator avoidance. 
द आंगि ऑफ ई मूवमेंट इन कमीलियन इज वेरी लार्ज फॉर ए वेटिट एंड दि ईस मूव इंडिपेन्डेंटी ऑफ ईच अदर This allows a chameleon to watch an approaching object while simultaneously scanning the rest of its environment. Chameleon eyes protrude laterally from the head giving the lizard panoramic sight. Chameleon eyes feature a negative lens meaning that the lens is concave. This increases retinal image size allowing more precise focusing. While the lens are negative the cornea of chameleon eye are positive meaning that it is convex the increased power of the cornea also contributes to more precise focusing than in other vertebrates chameleon can see color and in fact they can see better than you most animals see fewer color than humans can but chameleon can see the same color we do plus ultraviolet light which we cannot see b vision Bees are trichromatic that means they have three photoreceptors within the eye and base their color combination on those three colors humans base their color combinations on red blue and green while bees base their colors on ultraviolet light blue and green bees can't see the color red they don't have a photoreceptor for it they can however see reddish wavelengths such as yellow and orange They can also see blue green blue violet and bees purple bees purple is a combination of yellow and ultraviolet light that's why human can't see it the most likely colors to attract bees according to scientists are purple violet and blue bees also have the ability to see color much faster than humans their color vision is the fastest in the animal world five times faster than humans so while we may have trouble distinguishing one flower in a group from another bees don't they see each individual flower frog vision most frogs see well only at a distance but they have excellent night vision and are very sensitive to movement the bulging eyes of most frogs allow them to see in front to the sides and partially behind them when a frog swallows food it pull its eyes down into the roof of its mouth the eyes help push the food down its throat eyes positioned at the top of the head give frogs a field of vision of almost 180 degrees this peripheral vision helps them spot predators and prey humans and other mammals focus images by changing the shape of the lens like a camera lens frog eyes focus by moving the lens back and forth the night vision of frogs and toads appears to be superior to that of all other animals they have the ability to see color even when it is so dark that humans are not able to see anything at all frogs do have difficulty seeing in red light seeing best in environments where yellow light is predominant their eyes are so large and are mounted on either side of their head they have an extremely wild field of vision meaning they can all look around without moving their bodies butterflies vision butterflies are known for having the widest visual range of all wildlife with a large visual field than humans and excellent perception of fast moving objects their keen sight could be why the species is so abundant all butterflies have the ability to distinguish ultraviolet and polarized light through their photoreceptors the light detecting cells in color vision butterflies generally possess four classes of receptor which are responsible for their wide visual range The swallow tail however boost a whooping 15 different types of photoreceptors. These receptors are used to identify ultraviolet markings for use in mating and pollination purposes. Butterflies use light to search for food, find potential mates, recognize predators and distinguish nectar in flowers. The nectar color guide of the host chestnut tree will change from yellow to red when nectar is no longer in production. Butterflies will use these cues to determine which blossoms are capable of pollination. Butterflies also possess ultraviolet patches to distinguish themselves. Some butterfly species may look identical, but often male and female butterflies will differ only by their ultraviolet markings, while others will display significant visual differences. Spider vision Despite most having eight eyes, most spiders actually don't have very good eyesight at all. 
Many are just able to detect major light intensity changes which stimulate their nighttime web building and hunting activities. Jumping spiders are most active in the day. They have sharp color vision even ultraviolet light and are good at distinguishing different shapes. Their excellent eyesight enables them to hunt prey and identify mates and enemies. Other than having good eyesight, these super hunters have almost 360 degree of vision. flies vision compared to what would be perfect vision in a human that is 20 by 20 vision a fly has only 20 by 1200 vision it does have the benefit though of having around 4000 lenses or ometidia per eye each ometidium or lens performs independently so is like an eye in its own right Every ometidium is like a long cone with the lens on the tip and bearing its own distinct nerve fiber which connects to the fly's main optic nerve. A fly's eyes are immobile, but because of their spherical shape and protrusion from the fly's head, they give the fly an almost 360 degree view of the world. Flies are also short-sighted. A visible range of a few yards is considered good for an insect. Flies have limited color vision. Each color has its own wave frequency but flies have only two kinds of color receptor cells. This means they have trouble distinguishing between colors. For instance, discerning between yellow and white. Insects cannot see the color red, which is the lowest color frequency humans can see. However, house flies have the ability to see polarized light, but humans cannot differentiate between polarized and unpolarized light. Polarized light is light in which the wave travel only in one plane. Garden snail vision. Although the eyes of garden snails can focus or see color, they would just about be able to make out this other snail moving past or a predator approaching. The snail's ability to discern different intensities of light helps it navigate towards dark places. The quality of snail's vision depends on the individual snail and its primary diet. Some snails for example can only see differences between light and dark while others can clearly make out prey and other targets. Every snail species is different but carnivorous snails generally have better vision than herbivorous snails because they need that vision to hunt. Snails also have different eye types. Some have eye that work like pinhole cameras while other have vesicular eyes with functionality more closely matching the eyes of a human. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button. See you again.